The PADI Laboratory is a interdisciplinary research operation that investigates a number of different topics. The primary goal really is to use various types of technologies to explore metabolism, particularly in the context of cancer. The PADI Laboratory really encompasses a lot of different efforts. We do research in technology development. We're developing new ways to look at biochemistry using mass spectrometers specifically looking at metabolites and proteins. But we also are applying those technologies to several different disease states, but primarily cancer. So metabolism is really the extraction of energy from nutrients, and it is the transformation of nutrients into other things. During that transformation, you get energy. And so that's essentially what we're studying is how do the cells bring in the materials and arrange it into something productive to make a new cell? We do that from a biochemical perspective where we're looking very closely at those materials themselves and how they're made and transformed. We're trying to understand not only what the metabolic pathways in the cancer cells are activated to cause the cancer to grow and then spread to other areas, um, but we're also interested in how the cancer or the tumor itself is affecting the other tissues in the body and the other normal cells and then just understanding what biochemical pathways get switched on during that process. When we think about metabolomics we really mean that we measure metabolites in different biological systems and in order to do that when we think of for example a human blood sample or cancer cells or it can also be a tissue sample from a biopsy we need to first get these metabolites out of the system. And after that, these uh, metabolites then enter the mass spectrometer, which is our main instrument, um, where we can measure the mass to charge ratio of these metabolites and then distinguish different metabolites. And so mass spectrometers are very fancy, elaborate types of technologies that allow us to measure the masses of a lot of different molecules. Things that are highly concentrated, like glucose is an example that might be present at millimolar levels in your, in your blood, but also molecules that are present at exceedingly low concentrations. PanoBio is a research services startup built around a lot of the technology and innovations um, created within the PADI lab. So we did a nationwide search to try to find the best possible metabolomics program to build a company around and really settled on, on the Paddy Lab at Westview being the place doing the most innovative and the most impactful research um, that really wasn't just at a basic stage. Westview has really been an incredible partner in building PanoBio. They allow us to launch by leveraging a lot of the operational capacity that they and Gary and, and the lab had built here at Westview, which isn't a traditional academic lab. It's really an um, incredibly industrialized core that they built, such that when we built the company, we're able to leverage that capacity up front and really just invest heavily on spreading the message as much as possible. And so I'm studying how tumors respond to uh, high sugar diets and what effect those diets and Western diets have on rates of tumor growth and metastasis. So cancer cells are different from normal cells and we know this by the pioneering work of a German biochemist, Otto Warburg, over a century ago. He demonstrated that cancer cells rewire metabolism to fuel um, their demands for rapid proliferation. And we and others have shown that not only do cancer cells rewire their own metabolism, but they also have the potential to affect other healthy cells around them. So from a therapeutic perspective, one of the really interesting questions is knowing this landscape, this metabolic connectivity and the, the, all the biochemistry really being intermingled, knowing that information, how can we exploit it from a therapeutic context? And we are hopeful that we will have different insights into what might actually be a vulnerability for cancer that we can hopefully exploit therapeutically as well as cancer-associated conditions which have metabolic components. And that's what I'm really excited about because if we're able to take these technologies and apply them and we redefine the biochemical basis of disease, it's going to lead to a whole cascade of new biochemical targets that we can implement our therapeutic intervention strategies. You know, that's the endpoint we hope to improve people's lives and, and hope that we can ultimately improve care for patients with cancer.